Yo, so what's up, guys? Um, some of you have kind of like asked me questions about how to kind of navigate <clears throat> navigate your way around Logic and to find your instruments and to kind of go through opening up different sets of interest, instruments and drum sets, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I'm basically just going to walk you through um, just opening up tracks, just kind of like doing an overall orientation of the program um, in a very simple way. All right, so I've opened up Logic. And um, I opened up an empty template, and I um, opened up five stereo audio tracks. Now, the question is for most people is, you know, where are all my instruments? You know, where is everything pretty much? All right, first of all, let me just point out at the bottom of, this, of the arrange window, which is your main production screen, you have uh, several buttons at the bottom. You have the mixer button, so I click on that, and that opens up the tracks that you have on your range screen but in the mixer flow so you can basically see all the parameters, the effects rooted, etc, etc. Let me close that now. Then you have the sample editor. When you open the sample editor typically um, there would be a waveform here but right now I don't have anything opened or actually in my uh, in my arrange window as far as uh, samples go. Um, then when you go over to the piano roll the piano roll is the MIDI note editor and um, I'll show you a little bit more once I've laid down some parts on how that uh, comes into play. Then, of course, you have your score, which I personally don't use, but, you know, it, basically it will uh, print out the notation, uh, you know, if your computer is connected to a printer, obviously, you can print out the notation of the uh, events that you've recorded. And then you have the hyper editor, which gives you advanced functions, um, creating different patterns and volume changes without using automation. There's just a whole bunch of stuff you can do, but um, that's really advanced stuff, and we'll go over that later on. All right, first of all, I'm in the mixer window. Let me close out of the mixer window, go into the arrange window. I have five audio tracks open, um, which is great, but let's open some, uh, some uh, new instrument tracks. So you go up by global tracks, you click the plus sign, and then you go, It uh, a screen pops up uh, that says new tracks. It asks you how many new tracks and what kind of tracks. I'm going to do uh, 10. I'm going to put in 10. Then I'm going to click on software instrument, and I'm going to hit create. Now I have 10 tracks that have a green icon next to them, labeled instrument 1 through 10, INST1 through INST, uh, INST10. Excuse me. And if you look, your media browser is now opened on to the library tab. And the library tab basically are the instruments that are in Logic. As you change the sounds on your instrument channel, you'll see the corresponding sounds change in the library, uh, in, in your library. All right, so uh, let me see where are we? Okay. All right, so um, I opened up ten instrument tracks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight any one of those. I'm going to start with INST one. I'm going to move to the left side of the screen to my uh, uh, what do you call it? My channel strip, and I'm going to hold down. You can do this a bunch of ways, but I'm going to hold down the setting button with my left uh, uh, with a left click on my mouse. Hold that down. And I'm going to go down to, uh, let's go to drums and percussion, which is the third uh, instrument bank down, 03, drums and percussion. I'm going to move over to the right, and I'm going to go into ultra beat drum kits. If you noticed, you have uh, the kits separated, acoustic kits, electronic kits, ultra beat kits, warp drums. For now, I'm going to go into ultra beat drums. And I'm just going to go grab, uh, let me see, I mean, there's so many kits. But I am going to grab a uh, classic hip-hop remix kit. All right. Now let me see. When I hit my keyboard, I should hear that kit. Just make sure my volume's on. Okay. Here we go. All right. What I'm going to do is, um, now that I have that kit opened, I'm going to lay down a little pattern. I'm going to set my BPM to like 102. Let me see. If I, 102 is like a, a good tempo, I think. And I'm going to lay down the kick pattern. 
Actually, let me do the clap first. All right, so I hit record. All right, so I made that pattern. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to hit Command R, which is repeat. I'm going to repeat it 10 times, just some arbitrary amount of times. And I'm going to highlight the whole track now, go up to the left side of my screen to the quantize button, hold that down and go to 1 16th. Go back to the beginning, press play. All right, now the reason why I only recorded the clap and I didn't do a kick and clap together is I'm going to now, um, once, once I have that uh, same track highlighted, I'm going to go to the top of the screen. I'm going to hit new track with duplicate setting. Uh, which is next to the plus the plus sign to the right of that under global tracks. I'm going to hit that button two more times because I'm going to use the same kit, three separate channels, but the same kit. So when I want to mix the kick separate from the clap, I can have its own e independent EQ settings, independent compressor settings, etc., etc. I could do a hi hat channel. It's the same instrument. Basically, it duplicates it uh, as many times as you want it to. So I'll go underneath the, uh, the clap track. Next track, I'll put a kick. I hit record. It'll count. It'll count down. Three, two, one. All right, so I got that in there. And I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. Command R, repeat 10 times. I'm going to highlight the whole, that whole track now. Hit quantize. And go to 1 16th. If you don't highlight the whole track, then you're not going to quantize the whole track. You'll just quantize, you know, one piece at a time. So highlight the whole track. So I go back to the beginning, press play. They should be locked up. Good. All right, cool. I'll go to the next track that I made. I made three duplicate tracks. Find a hi-hat. And I will hit record. Two, three, four. Very simple, same deal, Command R, highlight the whole track, quantize, 1 16th. You know, the quantizing, we'll get into later what the, you know, the each variation of the quantize uh, strength and setting. But right now, 1 16th is very useful for electronic music, keeps everything really tight.